welcome everyone to another video of my YouTube channel. So again, I appreciate everyone just stopping by. And if you are Googling and you needed something, you found this video, I do appreciate you tuning in. Hopefully that this, uh, uh, my channel is helping uh, you and many others as well. In this video, we're gonna talk about job queue um, notification. And uh, if you're like me, that's been in the, in the, in the space for quite some time, uh, sometimes when you have a job queue and you, and you don't know that it failed, typically sometimes have, someone has to look at it on a daily basis to see if it had failed or not. Now, back in the day in, in, in NAV and Navision, um, if a job queue failed, you typically have maybe a processing report that automatically restarts those, so that could be an option. But then it doesn't really give you an opportunity to figure out what happened and why did it fail. Um, and again, I stopped counting how many times I get asked about extending the job queue notifications beyond the in-product notifications. So users would like to get notified uh, more than just an email. Uh, maybe we get, you know, we get so many emails that we that uh, it can get lost, right, with those notifications. Now you can create some rules around that, which is fine. Um, but important job queues will require maybe a Teams message on top of an email notification so that it can be action against quickly. So this video is going to walk you through how to set that up in Business Central and how to utilize Power Automate to get those notification working uh, with you so that somebody can jump into uh, the work right away. So let's get started and uh, walk you through how to set that up. Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. All right, let's, uh, so when you're in Business Central, the first thing you wanna do is navigate to the assisted setup. We have to enable this um, in Business Central for the uh, to set up the job queue notifications. So what are you going to do is search for that exact thing called set up job queue notifications. So as I continue to scroll, I have this right here. I have not set this up and I will click on this guy and um, make this a little bit bigger so you can see and I will hit next. Uh, there are two options here, notify users who initiate background tasks. Basically, if you are the author of the job queue, not only you get notified, but maybe an administrator should also get notified. So that is your second option here as well. So your IT person may get notified um, that a job queue failed and you, who, if you're the author of the job queue, should also get notified as well. Now, typically, this is what I recommend is to keep both on so p two people can, um, you know, action against it. Uh, or, for example, if maybe you're out of office and your job queue died and somebody can go ahead and take a look at it and figure out what's wrong and then, of course, enable it. So in this case, I'm going to choose the administrator. With my demo, of course, I'm the only user and the administrator on this environment. I have that one single option. So for the sake of this, I will keep both on choose myself here as an admin to get notified and hit next. Now, how do you want your, your, uh, uh, your users to be notified? One is the in-product notification, which is built within um, um, uh, Business Central. And the other one is notification with business event. This is what we want to turn on. This, is, this will allow us to utilize Power Automate to notify others um, outside of Business Central, like for Teams, for example, like a Teams notification, which is what we want to do in this video. And uh, why this is helpful is because not every single person are always living within Business Central day to day, uh, especially like your Business Central admins or power users, they may not always look at that. So I'm going to enable this. Again, this will also enable for a business event to be turned on so that Power Automate can listen to those business event, events. So I'm gonna turn this on and hit next. And then of course there are, uh, you know, in product notification, you want it to immediately uh, uh, notify. You can also set threshold how many times um, it will try, um, you know, things like that. So maximum number of attempts to run setting files, uh, to run setting allows. So I'm gonna keep this right now as uh, default setup. 
and hit next. I do want it to be immediate, so hit next here. And then that is pretty much it. Now, I, instead of hitting finish here, I'm gonna keep this open because I want it to take me directly to my uh, uh, Power Automate notification. So I'm going to click this link here, which takes me to a template to get started on my uh, notification. Um, now it'll take me uh, directly to my job queue. So I have several here um, that I can use. So one of them, uh, uh, I can create a new one. So let's do maybe a sales post um, notification. So what I'm gonna do is sales post email. This is going to be a code unit. Again, I'm just doing this as a demo, um, but you can choose whatever, you know, uh, choose whatever uh, job key you want to turn this uh, notification on. So I'm just gonna use the sales post notification here as an example, and then we can get this set up here, uh, set up. So I'm gonna skip a little bit of this uh, on video. I'm gonna do a uh, edit so that you're not having to see me turn on and set this up. All right, so I set this up. Let's, let's go ahead and make this a little larger here. Um, so what you typically do then at this point, once you have your job queue, and I wanna make sure that someone gets notified, um, not only with email with the teams, I can go ahead and click the automate, power automate and manage flows or automate or create automated flow or create action based on flow. In this case, we haven't created one. So even if we click manage flows, you're not gonna see it. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a brand new automated flow. So I'm gonna click this button here. This would give me an option of which um, flow of templates that's available for you. Now it's gonna require us to kind of search for it a little bit. So we're gonna scroll down. So once I get this connected, um, we can take a look. So all, you see that you have a lot of options here to get notified. So one of the things that we're looking for is notify in Outlook when Job Queue and Business Central fails. This is what we want. So we're gonna go ahead and click this uh, option here, give it a proper name. So in this case, this is specifically for this job queue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna call it sales um, post email notification. Okay. Uh, and also, of course, making sure that you have permissions and um, access to either one. So in this case, I have Outlook permission and, and Business Central, I'm gonna hit next. And then uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave this here at, as default. I don't need um, to add anything right now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and create, create flow. Okay, the flow is created. Now, how do I get there, right? You wanna make sure that you may have proper, um, you know, layout, format, things like that. So I need to make sure that that is set up properly. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna click, go back to my automate, power animate, and then manage flows. This will open up the Power Automate window as a separate tab, and it should take me to all my flows that's available. Okay, I'm gonna go sign in. All right, so here are my uh, flows that's available for me. Now I have made several flows before. So in this case, I have this one right here, 37 seconds ago, this is exactly what we were working on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to edit this to make sure that the information I need is there. And of course I can add additional notification. Now remember when we created this out, um, created this flow, this Power Automate, the only option it gave us was Outlook. But remember we wanna extend this to, you know, utilize uh, possibly Teams notification. So we wanna make sure that that option is available here. So let me move my face a little bit here so you can see on the right hand side. Now you can use Copilot to set this up. In this case, I'm going to not do that at the moment, but I'm just going to make sure that things are connected accordingly. So if I go and click each one, you'll see that I'm in my production environment, which I was in my production environment. Uh, make sure I'm in the right company. I am and make sure it is on the right company I'm working on, so Mantolino. Again, a lot of these things will get populated if you start off directly from your environment. So, you know, creating a flow directly from there. So you'll pass that information over. These are already in there. So find the job queue, what it's doing is which environment, which company that's pulled from the prior step. Um, the API category, it's already version 2.0. This is what you wanna keep. The table name is the job queue entries table. And it's gonna look at the row of that failed um, uh, from the log, technically, it's going to look at your failed 
uh, row ID. And then the next step would be um, same thing, which environment company, you know, um, in this case, table user, because remember we had turned that function on where you want the person that initiated the job queue to be notified. And then of course the value, so right, equals the user ID um, uh, for that username. So I'm gonna leave that alone here and you can result by uh, username in this case. So all of this I'll keep. And then the next one is finding the job queue. So it also pulled in the proper page. It looks at the row ID. It's gonna look at for this particular company and then the environment. Again, those are being pulled from the top. And then last but not least is the notification. So you'll see the notification here, the job, blah, 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 scheduled by user ID and this company you know, failed on that last modified date, which is the job queue uh, log entries, job queue entries log uh, table. And it gives you a proper link to open that record and so forth. So this is already populated for you, which is super, super, super nice. But in our case, we want to extend this so to properly extend this, uh, all you have to do is click the plus menu here. And since we wanna do Teams, um, we we can use Teams, you can uh, search for Teams and click more. And then you'll see here, I have some options. Of course, I want to post a message on the chat or channel. Now, since I've already built this already, um, I'm going to skip that and, and kind of save us some time here. Um, uh, so here's one I built two, two months ago. Uh, let's go ahead and edit this. All right, so it's the same process. I click plus here from the prior, uh, 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 prior section, and I'm gonna post a message in, in the chat. And here is the configuration for that. If you are, you know, if you wanna pause this video to, you know, kind of copy and just to kind of walk through it. Uh, you'll see I want it as a flow bot. Uh, not as a user, because I want that to be automated. It doesn't have to come from a separate user. I want to post it on the channel. Um, and then uh, you, you may have a set up a team, maybe you have a uh, IT team and, and your IT may uh, may have their own channel. And then in this case, um, that is the general channel. Uh, so again, you can choose depending on the availability right now, those are my only ones available to my uh, in my teams, but you may have multiple ones. Um, in here, you get the job queue notification. This is kind of the body of the e uh, of the message that I want on the channel. I don't want it to be convoluted too many too many crazy things. But you'll notice that there's some sections here. Like how do you populate this? It's fairly easy. So, for example, if I want to add environment here, all right, and then you click on this um, uh, Thunderbolt, and you'll see that there is um, an option for you as a ref, uh, as a referral to the steps prior, uh, you know, to that. So there are options. You can also do an FX uh, if you're comfortable with that. Uh, but in many cases, um, this is maybe all you need. Um, I think I also have another example as well. Again, you can pause those um, uh, in there. So let's see, uh, job queue, let me click on this guy. So there's there's one here for my environment instead of company. So um, again, um, there is an option for you um, and, and, and the way it looks. So once you get that configured and a job queue fails, um, I will show you what that would looks like on the notification. So if I click on my teams here, and I have some few examples of what that looks like um, uh, w when you get notified when the job queue fails. Um, sure. Cookies. Enable cookies there. Or allow cookies. All right, so here we are. Uh, as you remember, I only have one uh, one team, Contoso, one channel uh, called General. But if you have multiple channels, of course, that's going to be an option for you. So, um, uh, so here's an example of of some of those notification, right? So, <clears throat> for example, I had one for a, a job queue uh, fifty, and that had failed. And when it failed, it gave me that notification. So notice they have a uh, job failure notification, job scheduled by company failed, 
error, you know, what was the error. Again, this is super helpful uh, for administrators that, uh, or, or you that, you know, you, you may not want that get lost in the, uh, within your Outlook with all your emails. Um, and then if, you, and if you, you can also reference for more details, check your email. So if we take a look at your flow here, um, let me go back to my flow, sales post notification and hit edit. Oh, and that's not it. Cause we did this guy in terms of the view. So if we take a look at your channel here, see this looks familiar, scheduled by, company failed on. And if we look at here, failed on, company, and I believe I had company here. So you, as you can see, um, you have that option um, as well. So I have some three, three failed notifications here that allowed me to co go ahead and get additional details. In terms of the email, this is what it's going to look like. You'll see that the job, blah, 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 scheduled by admin in this company failed on after one, one uh, attempt, right? I think we had, we turned that off, but if you had turned it on three to five times, um, or you, you schedule with three, it'll let you know that it attempted three times to, um, uh, but it continued to fail. You'll have that link here, uh, this record um, or, or uh, code unit uh, 36, and if we take a look at my uh, job queue, oh, sorry, that flow, if you look at my email notification, you'll see it looks very familiar, right? Even the subject, the job blank scheduled blank. If we take a look at my email, the job blank scheduled by blank in blank, blank, blank. And you'll see that the, 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 the layout looks very, very similar. I got my enter ID and an environment. If we look at here, enter ID and environment. Now the enter ID, um, uh, that's just an ID, but you know that 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 might not be uh, helpful for you. So maybe an environment name would be helpful, or maybe a company. So um, I don't think I have an example for the company here. Let's take a look to see if I had that set up. I may not have that set up here, but you could. Maybe I don't. Let's see what the layout. Oh yeah, I added a company here, but you'll notice that it's a. Uh, uh, ID, but you can switch that out to uh, not use an ID. You can switch it out to a um, uh, the name of the environment. So if I go to my email here, uh, company, right? And then I'll just check this box and it'll give me an option here to add my company as well. So with that, uh, once you get that turn, uh, uh, you know, enabled, uh, you won't miss any notification. So um, with that, I do appreciate everyone's time of joining me here today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down there. I'll try my best to answer. You can also reach out to me uh, on my website, uh, mattolino.io. So apologize to that. My dog's shaking uh, herself there. And um, again, thank you so much for joining us. If you have not yet, go ahead and go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the like the video if you like it, um, and, and leave a comment. Uh, this gives me, uh, it inspires me that it, you know this videos are helping others. And if you like it, let me know. Um, so I'll, I'll put more content out there. Thank you again so much, and uh, have a great day. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control, and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be.